And so, Max, congratulations on another great performance. You had a few minutes to think about it. How are you feeling about the final? I feel great, man. I feel great. We're still here, you know. I, th I told you guys that was the motto. We're still here, you know. The, the motto of this fight was still here. Remind them. I mean, I, I think I screamed at half of you guys already out there. You so. did. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I felt. Yeah, was that just because of you felt maybe you were being overlooked since the last fight and you wanted to just remind people, hey, I'm still one of the best in the world? Sure, you're, only, you're only as good as your last fight. And I told you guys I had that bulk fight. That was the last fight, the last taste that they had of me. And uh, here's what it is. You know, I was here with that cater fight. I had the thing, I heard the same thing all over again. That uh, uh, Arnold was going to be the guy. He's going to break my chain. He's going to put him up too slow, too old, whatever it is. And uh, we went out there. We got to prove it. You know, I want to go out there, hit, and I get hit. Me and my boy have been vibing out to uh, uh, to some Roy Jones Jr. body hit bangers. that <laughs> forgot to go out there looking good doing it. You know. Does those, do those comments actually piss you off, or do you kind of just understand that's the nature of the game? But when people are kind of like, oh, you're only as good as the last fight, his chin's going to get checked out and stuff, does it piss you off, or how does it make you feel? I just laugh, bro. I just laugh. Half these guys talking about it, probably never fought a day in their life, so you wouldn't know, you know? So at the end of the day, it is what it is, you know? I, I come from, from this sport. I'm in the gaming world. Oh, my gosh, the gaming world is even more worse than shit talkers. So at the end of the day, it's all right. Yeah. What did you uh, The last 10 seconds were pretty... Pretty exciting. There was a little pretty bit fun. of a throwback there. Pretty fun, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he was coming. He was coming. I thought he was going to come more sooner in like the fourth or fifth. Uh, actually, in the fourth round. After the two rounds, I was like, yeah, we're probably up. He's going to step on the gas pedal now. And so when his inexperience is going to come. And he stayed calm. He was trying to get in there, but couldn't still figure it out. And fifth round, we already knew. I mean, you could listen to my, my corner. And it was like, he's going to be coming at you to stay. You know, don't get lazy. Stay active the whole time. And yeah, the last 10 seconds, he kept throwing. So I was like, throw back. <laughs> I don't know if they officially ruled the last punch as a knockdown, but you knocked him down, right? Yeah, I, I, would, I would think so. I hope so as a knockdown. I, did. I mean, uh, oh my God, I got to go talk to, to Des up there, and he was asking why I wasn't talking to him. Alan is the nicest dude ever, bro. Like, in between, like, after we hit each other in the low blows, he'd be like, oh, sorry, bud, whatever. In between the rounds, he's like, thumb up in me with a smile, like, bro, I can't talk, to, can't talk shit to this guy. I mean, he's a cool dude, so. I, I saw you guys had a conversation backstage. What did uh, you guys say to each other? I told him, I told him, bro, bro, you're a legend. You're tough. And um, we'll probably see each other a bunch of times. So don't worry, bro. Keep training, get hard. And say you want to come to Hawaii, show him around. So maybe after our career, because I, I have a feeling we're probably going to run him back. Yeah. You've obviously fought like basically everyone in that division. Where does his skills rank up compared to some of the other guys that you faced? Ah, he's super good, bro. He's up there. He's up there. I mean, his, his IQ is, is super good, man. I. I I thought he'd be a little bit more inexperienced, but he rang it tonight and he came five rounds. I thought so, uh, I thought so he's gonna be way more desperate, but he was super smart. I mean, he got a great team behind him, you know, he got the great for us in this corner, so the game planning was there and uh, I, I think he's, uh, he's up there for sure. And last one for me, I mean, it's kind of a hard question to answer, right? But what is next? You know, is it, hey, I'm gonna sit there and I'm gonna go after Bogdanovsky, I have to hope Yair wins, what's the next one for you? Oh, we see what happens, you know, I'm the best man win, I get to be a fan in that fight in July. Oh, we see what happens, you know. Never say never. We saw, I mean, especially you. You saw the most craziest thing in the sports by the first hand. So, I'm, I'm, I'm sure we'd be, I'm sure we'd be alright. Max, so, was there anything out there from him that kind of surprised you? Like, was he a difficult guy to prepare for? I feel like we had seen him go the distance, maybe with some of the lower, you know, middle tier fighters. But then when he got to the top or top of the division, it was kind of quick fights. So, I guess, what, what did you think compared to your expectations when you're in there with him? Ah, he's just a smart guy, bro. He's just a smart guy. I think he did really good. And um, just an awesome guy, and uh, he's kind of, he, he is a thick boy, dog. Oh my gosh, he's pretty big. I was tripping out, he was like a bodybuilder. You know, like no legs, but this upper body is like, like a tank, you know? Almost like a bulk, so it was pretty crazy. Like, bro, this guy is so weird with their body type like this, it's, it's kind of confusing. And I guess um, also, like for you, just coming off of a little bit of a layoff, how do you stay so, like, we were talking, like, you just seem so calm in there, like, you, you know, I guess without fighting once every couple months, how do you kind of keep that mentality, just being there so much? Bro, I've been, we've been in, what, what is it? How many fights I have? Do you know how many fights I have in the UFC now? Like 24 yeah. now, or 25, something like that, bro. It, it, it just another day in the park, you know, like, I, before a walkout, me and my team just talking regular stories of what's going on, you know, <laughs> like what we're doing after, you know, so at the end of the day, it's just, it's just something that we just been here, we know what it is, and we'll get the job done. Yeah, and he, um, he landed a, a few good shots on you, mm -hmm. but were there any that ever, like, rocked you or anything, or was it, you seemed to take them very well? No, uh, it's more piss off, right? It's, it's, everybody's going to try to land this stupid punch, it's just, they're going to jab, and then they're going to throw this overhand, because 
my stupidity, I move straight back instead of getting to an angle. And every time I move straight back, if you get one to take back, I'm getting landed by something big, a kick or one kick he landed, he landed uh, like maybe like, I think so I can remember like five or maybe eight overhand less and, and a couple right hooks. I'm like, bro, come on. Like, I already know what they're going to do. They're, they're putting a jab in my face and stepping in deep with a bit of big overhand, you know, so that's just on me. Max, um, in a featherweight division, look, you sort of look at all the top contenders who are in there with you. You've kind of faced most, if not all of them now, and it's kind of like a rematch tour at this point if you're carrying on a 45. Are you also potentially considering jumping up to 55, taking some new challenges on a 55 and maybe splitting your time between the two divisions just to freshen things up? We see what happens. We see what happens. Never say never, man. We can talk to the UFC and see if they let to do that. I, 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 they don't like people splitting their time too much. But um, the beautiful thing is when you get a belt, you can do whatever you want. So that's the main goal right now. And give us a prediction for the the, uh, the next title fight, by the way. How do you think that's going to go? I, I, I think it's going to be a way more contested fight than people think it is going to be. Uh, uh, a year is a super awkward guy to fight just because he's fast and lanky and spinny and flashy. And Volk is just a super hard guy to get ready ready for. You know, you can't even find training partners that's like Volk, bro. The guy's, uh, the guy's like the thing. You know, it's just, it's weird. So, at the end of the day, um, I think it's going to be an exciting fight, and uh, I just get to be a fan, bro. I'm not going to guess anything. I think so it's going to be an awkward fight for both of them, and be the best man win. You took some pretty heavy shots in there from, from Arnold tonight. I'm just curious, is who, who's hit, who's caught you the hardest at 45? Uh, Andre Philly. Philly. Andre Philly. Caught, he's the only guy that I ever got caught with, and I looked at the time, and I was like, what, what am I doing? <laughs> And I remember going to the cage and be like, holy shit, I think like, he hit me pretty hard. So, uh, Andre Philly is like the hardest cracker I've felt at 45 for sure. Appreciate it, thank you. Max, um, the Korean Zombie has, has uh, mentioned a couple of times that he would like to fight you. Brother, brother. For whoever Korean, is former. K K Korean Zombie, that's the only guys from the, that, that is the only guy in my time in the old, with the older guys that I didn't get to fight. I would love that fight. There's a fight in my man's, uh, my agent's uh, uh, freaking country, Australia, coming up. And where is it? Uh, in, uh, <laughs> Australia's, Australia's supposed to be happening sometime. Australia's supposed to be happening sometime. We don't know when. And if Chris, Korean Zombie wants it, he can get it. He can get it. So you want to fight him in the head? I would love to fight. That's one of the guys I've been growing up and watching. I'm, I, I'm kind of tripping out. We didn't fight yet. How did we not fight? You know? And if, if that's one of the guys, then that's one of the guys. I'd, I'd love to fight and should have to with him. He's one of the OGs that I didn't get to fight yet. You know, and I was like, we came up in the same era and like, and we didn't fight each other. So if, if that's it, that's it. Uh, what, what video game has, has the worst online community? Uh, what video game? I don't know, bro. Ace, a Apex, is, Apex right now is pretty, pretty heavy, pretty crazy. I've been away from uh, Call of Duty a little bit, but Apex can get pretty toxic, brother. I'm telling you. When, when you catch these guys talking shit to you, like, do you say, I'm, I'm Max? Like, oh, brother, like, my name on top of the game is, like, bless MMA F slash FB dot GG. And, like, you're not Max. You're not Max. You're talk they're talking shit to me. Yeah, so I'm like, okay, whatever, you know? So, it's fine. Congrats. Thank you, brother. Hey, Max, in the middle. So, to answer your earlier question, I think this was your 27th fight. In the oh, 27. Oh, I was off a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Sell yourself short. Uh -huh. This is your eighth decision in a row, uh -huh. under five rounders. Yeah. What's the secret? Because you, you clearly aren't falling off, as some people said beforehand, but I don't know that we've ever seen anybody yeah. be able to do this and have these kind of fights. I got, I got a great team behind me, man. I got a great team, a great wife. My wife been cooking for me, my team been making us the way we train, how smart we train, the way we go on with training, the way if I get hurt, they we, we take care of it. You know, I got doctors and everything behind me. I just, I got a great foundation behind me, man. You know, just like any house, if you don't got a strong foundation, that shit is gonna blow right over. So build your foundation and build up. Congrats. Thank you.